Hey there friend, and welcome back. My name is Sarah Rusk and I should have done this video like last week, but I wasn't feeling called to do it and I think I know the reason why. So about a year ago, I went to my second Dr. Joe Dispenza retreat in beautiful San Diego, California. It had been a lifelong dream of mine to go to California and it finally came true and in a way that I most certainly least expected it. <laughs> so. To kind of give a short, brief backstory, I went to my first Joe Dispenza retreat in Marco Island, Florida. Um, great event. I had a experience. I had energy run up the back of my spine, which I believe is a Kundalini awakening. And my life has not been the same since. Um, I worked at a horse farm for many years before going to this event and then went to the event and then came home and quit my job. I quit multiple jobs after that. So the fact that I was able to go to California within the same year, let alone a couple of months after without knowing how I was gonna get money to go was a miracle in itself. And it was such an incredible experience. If you, friend, ever have the opportunity to go to two events, I can't recommend it enough. Like I learned so much more than when I went the first time because, you know, I had done the intensive and progressive workshops. Those were amazing. I took way too many notes on them because I just enjoyed it so much. My life really changed after doing those courses, like significantly changed, which is why I wanted to go to the actual event and be there in person. And being there in person, tuning my energy to just this amazing coherence energy really rocked and shook up my world. And I haven't stopped meditating. I, in between, I've taken breaks just because I had to recalibrate myself. And I, you know, really can't go days without meditating because I can totally tell the difference when I have meditated versus when I have not. And I have learned a lot after being in the wild, so to speak, after going to these events. The events themselves are incredible. The first event that I went to in Marco Island, I did not come out really knowing very many people. Um, coming out of San Diego, I formed really strong bonds with a lot of people and I talked to a lot of them just about every single day. So if you go to one event and you find that you really didn't make that many friends, it's totally okay. I wasn't the right type of me to be able to attract you know, higher vibrational beings. I was still releasing and shedding some stuff. And I just, it wasn't the space for me to make friends, you know, the way that I was. Now coming out of San Diego, because I have shifted and changed and purged and let go of a lot of parts of myself, I came out of there with a lot of friends. And even if you go to a third or a fourth and you haven't been able to make specific connections, that's totally okay. You know, go to just keep empowering and uplifting yourself to help get you to the next level. I left San Diego feeling so high and like my heart was just blasting open. I remember being in the plane, you know, however many, you know, 40,000, 50,000 feet in the air and just feeling so much love for just everything, feeling so excited. I remember my computer screen in front of me on the plane wasn't working and I kept sending it love and I eventually got it to work. And then I got home, took a super quick nap, and then went and ran the fastest mile of my life because I was just feeling so like over the top excited. It was very odd. And then I crashed immediately afterwards, like a week later. It was not sustainable. However, I have been able to sustain that coherence feeling now, but it took me some time to get there. It took a lot of meeting new people, losing these people, having old people come back and then realizing, wow, I have come so far with this work. It took a lot of trial and error for myself. Um, another thing too, when I was in San Diego, I really wanted to have just this big burst of emotion where I felt like connected to myself and enlightened and like I knew all of this stuff and everything. Um, I was able to kind of tap into specific parts of that when I was there, but coming home and being back in my everyday environment, I lost touch of it because I have just all of this stimuli happening around me. I took a lot of time to soul search and really asking bigger questions of, you know, who am I? What's my biggest bigger purpose of being here? Like, what am I here to do and to contribute to the world? Um, going into both Marco Island and San Diego, it was a little more egotistical based, such as, you know, how can I grow my YouTube channel? Though I will say I came out of San Diego having over a hundred subscribers, which was really fantastic. And also thanks to my friend Algis, who just told everybody 
about me, which I appreciated. Um, but it really wasn't until I want to say the last three months that I've been seeing like the work working, just having all these different emotions and things start to come up. And when I was in San Diego, I, I wasn't able to break through that barrier that's been just around my chest. I remember coming home and talking a lot about the pain that I had in my chest and it's, emotions that and layers that just needed to come up and then finally came out i released a big one on saturday in a meditation and dr joe says that there's no such thing as a bad meditation and there is no bad meditation it was a very challenging meditation but something that had been stuck within me was finally able to come up and i was able to finally release it but that took months and months and months and a year worth of meditating to finally get to that point and finally being able to filter out the chatter and to finally start to listen to the voice that's in my head you know the the voice the connected voice the flow you know i've learned recently that it's like a feedback system like i know we know that like we think things and then the universe hears it and everything um nisam harami did a really great talk with lewis house and he explained how it's like a feedback loop and the energy that we keep emitting and putting out is what's going to keep coming back so the more energy of saying that we we're good we're supported we've got this we're healthy and such the more that's going to come back to us obviously dr joe goes in and talks more in depth about all this stuff as well but it's just really refreshing hearing it from different perspectives also that's the other thing too is being able to understand these concepts and ideas having it go, gone through it again and then giving it time afterwards also i'm understanding things that i thought i understood but i actually understand them better because i got to live through them so if you are in the midst of doing all of this work you've been to a couple of retreats and you're just like everything feels like it's getting worse or i'm not understanding it you are exactly where you're supposed to be if things are going great that's awesome that's that's fantastic. I'd be a little concerned. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> it took me until this point to realize that I'm actually going through a spiritual awakening, you know, from all the depression ringing in my ears to feeling great one minute and then completely depressed and lethargic the next. Lots of just ups and downs, but being able to sit in meditation has been just such a saving grace for me because I'm able to tune myself to the higher frequencies and that's just all the layers being shed from my body and it's a process and it's a process that's totally worth it and another thing too is the out-of-body experiences and the mystical experiences have been a lot <laughs> there's been a lot since I had gotten back from San Diego I didn't have any between Marco Island and San Diego and then I started having more after San Diego just because I really just found a new appreciation and love for the work after going through the work again for a second time for seven days which was amazing and again if you could do it totally recommend it and then absolutely go to an advanced follow-up because those are really awesome and i will be talking about the advanced follow-up when we hit august because that was a point where i was really starting to like get the ball rolling within myself and not feel high but instead feel like this energy was sustainable it's been a really awesome journey, and I really think at this point right now, the most important thing that I have learned is that I need to start connecting with myself. I was fighting it for this, for literally the entire year up until probably about two weeks ago, I had been fighting myself with trying to understand myself. I put everybody else first before me because I thought that's what I had to do. But now I'm learning to take the time to sit and really hear me, connect to me. Because when I'm able to connect to myself, that's when I'm able to hear, you know, the voice of God, the voice of the universe and such to be able to put me in the path, in the direction of where I'm supposed to go to help serve and to help others. So, so that's my whole spiel for going to a second Joe Dispenza retreat. It's completely life-changing so worth it and the experiences a year later it's just it's getting harder but better and better and it's been so worth it so friend thank you so much for watching this video i wish to give a massive shout out to jules who was amazing and sent me some love over on ko-fi coffee still don't know how to pronounce it ko-fi.com slash hey there friend you could help support this channel and buy me a cup of coffee, which is super appreciated as sleep has not been happening for me lately. So I get work done and read in between. <laughs>
And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, I've gained a couple of subscribers. Uh, my video yesterday, like, has over like 140 something views already. Wow. Hi, everybody. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Um, if you're watching this in the morning, I'm going to be doing a live at 11 a.m. Come say hello. It would be great to meet you and see you 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm on the East Coast, unfortunately. Soon to be on the West Coast. Um, and yeah. Remember, you're the most important person in the entire universe. And just promise me, you'll keep singing. Okay, friend?